next we are going to discuss with the topic solution of state equation okay we know that the state equation is x dot of t is equal to a into x of t plus b into q e of t here first we are going to consider homogeneous state equation or an autonomous system okay the homogeneous state equation means a system with input equal to zero okay the autonomous system is a system with input equal to zero that is u e of t equal to zero therefore the state equation becomes x dot of t equal to a into x of t we are going to find the solution of state equation solution means we are going to find x of t from this x dot of t or finding the response of the system okay solution of state equations mean we are going to find the response of the system the response means we, are, we need to find x of t so we are going to discuss how we can find x of t from this x dot of t so first we are considering the homogeneous state equation that is input equal to zero that is u e of t equal to zero therefore the state equation becomes x dot of t equal to a into x of t taking laplace transform on both sides taking laplace transform on both sides this x dot of t becomes s into x of s minus x of zero okay s into x of s minus x of zero and a into x of t becomes a into x of s okay a into x of s so s into x of s minus a into x of s equal to x of 0 by taking this a into x of s to the left side it's become s into x of s minus a into x of s equals by taking x of x 0 to the right side it's become equal to x of 0 by taking x of s as common it's become x of s into si minus a equal to x of 0 we need to find x of t okay so we are making this x of t by replacing this x of by taking x of s in the left side for that pre multiply both sides with si minus a the whole inverse okay we need to remove this si minus a so we are multiplying it with si minus a the whole inverse so this equation becomes x of s equals si minus a the all inverse into si minus a we are pre multiplying to the back okay so si minus a the all inverse into si minus a equals si minus a the all inverse into x of 0 next x of s becomes this x of s equals si minus a into si minus a the all inverse into si minus a is equal to 1 so x of s equals si minus a the all inverse into x of 0 okay that is x of s equals si minus a the all inverse there is a matrix si minus a the all inverse into x of 0 so we are naming is si minus a the all inverse of phi of s okay just writing si minus a the all inverse as phi of s so x of s equals phi of s into x of 0 next taking laplace transform on both sides by taking laplace transform this x of s becomes x of t okay this x of s becomes x of t so x of t equals l inverse of si minus a tall inverse into x of 0 okay this x like by taking laplace transform x of s becomes x of t and but sorry by taking inverse laplace so x of s becomes x of t equals l inverse of this term that is si minus a the all inverse into x of 0 okay so we got x x of t that is x of t is the solution of this homogeneous state equation so x of t equals l inverse of si minus a the all inverse into x of 0 is a solution of homogeneous state equation okay next we are finding some terms from this equation x of t equal to l inverse of si minus a the all inverse into x of 0 is the solution of homogeneous state equation next we have find phi of s this phi of s is equal to si minus a the all inverse okay this si minus a the all inverse is called resolvent matrix okay si minus a the all inverse is called resolvent matrix if there is a question to find resolvent matrix find si minus a the whole inverse okay next one is 
L inverse of SI minus A, the all inverse. Okay. By taking inverse Laplace of phi of us, it's become phi of T. Okay. So, L inverse of SI minus A, the all inverse is called state transition matrix. Okay. L inverse of SI minus A, the all inverse is called state transition matrix. The state transition matrix is also represented as E raised to A T. Some another form, the state transition matrix is also known as E raised to A T. Okay. So, state, state transition matrix is find out by L inverse of SI minus A, the all inverse and result. Next topic is non-homogeneous state equation. Non-homogeneous state equation is a system with input or, or system with a forcing function. That is we have an input. So, state equation is x dot of t is equal to a into x of t plus b into u of t. By taking Laplace transform on both sides, the equation becomes x dot of t becomes s into x of s minus x of 0 and a into x of t this x of t becomes x of s that is a into x of s plus b into e of s by taking this x of s to the left side it becomes s into x of s minus a into x of s equals and moving this x of 0 to the right side it's become x of 0 plus b into u of s that is by taking x of s as common, it is become si minus a into x of s equals x of 0 plus b into u of s. We need to find x of t. So, we are removing this si minus a. For that, pre-multiply both sides with si minus a the all inverse. By pre-multiplying with si minus a the all inverse into si minus a into x of s equals here multiplying it's become si minus a the all inverse into x of 0 plus to this term si minus a the all inverse into b into u of s. So, this x of s becomes si minus a the all inverse into si minus a equal to 1. That is a matrix a inverse into a equal to 1. Similarly, si minus a the all inverse into si minus a equal to 1. So, x of s equals si minus a the whole inverse into x of 0 plus si minus a the whole inverse into b into u of s. We need to find the solution or we need to find x of t, the response of the system. So, by taking inverse Laplace on both sides, this x of t equals L inverse of si minus a the whole inverse into x of 0 plus L inverse of si minus a the whole inverse into b into u of s that is this is a solution of non-homogeneous state equation okay the solution of non-homogeneous state equation is x of t equals l inverse of si minus a the whole inverse into x of 0 plus l inverse of si minus a the whole inverse into b into u of s that is the solution of non-homogeneous state equation okay next we are going to discuss with the nature or the response how we can classify this responses okay we know that a total response of the system is equal to zero input response plus zero state response okay from this equation we have x of zero and this input okay x of zero is the initial condition and u of s is the input so the response depends upon the input and initial conditions. Okay, the response depends upon the input and initial conditions. So, the total response of the system equals 0 input response plus 0 state response. Okay, what is 0 input response? What is 0 state response? 0 input response means the response of the system when input equal to 0. Okay, 0 input response means it is the response of the system when input equal to 0. 0 state response means it is the response of the system when initial conditions are 0. Okay, that is 0 input response means response of the system when input equal to 0. That is u of t is equal to u of s equal to 0. Zero state response means it is a response of the system when initial conditions are zero. That is x of zero equal to zero. So, 
so we need we know the response of the system when both input and initial conditions are present okay we find the response of the system when both input and initial condition are present then x of t is equal to l inverse of si minus a the whole inverse into x of 0 plus l inverse of si minus a the whole inverse into b into e of s okay so total response is L inverse of SI minus A the whole inverse into X of 0 plus L inverse of SI minus A the whole inverse into B into E of S. Okay. Here, the first term uh, that is L inverse of SI minus A the whole inverse into X of 0 is a 0 input response because when we are making this input equal to 0, that is this E of S is the input. If we are making this input is equal to 0, this equation consists of this part only. That is L inverse of SI minus A the all inverse into X of 0. So, this response is the 0 input response. Okay, okay. Because it depends upon the initial condition and input equal to 0. And this states that second part, L inverse of SI minus A the all inverse into B into U of S. That is, here this equation depends upon the input okay not depends upon the initial condition initial condition x of 0 or we are making initial condition equal to 0 this x of t is equal to l inverse of si minus a the whole inverse into b into u of s so this part is called zero state response okay by making initial condition zero and finding the response so that response is called zero state response and if we are making input equal to zero and by applying the initial conditions, we are finding the response, then it is called zero input response. Okay, so the total response is equal to zero input response plus zero state response. Okay, so total response of a system is equal to the zero input response plus zero state response. Okay, that's all about the solution of state equation. It has two parts homogeneous state equation and non-homogeneous state equation in the case of si minus a the all inverse into x of 0 that is x of t is equal to l inverse of si minus a the whole inverse into x of 0 where si minus a the whole inverse is the resolvent matrix and l inverse of si minus a the whole inverse is a state transform. and the second case the solution of non-homogeneous state equation that is x of t is equal to l inverse of si minus a the whole inverse into x of 0 plus l inverse of si minus a the whole inverse into b into u of s okay and the last one is zero input response and zero state response zero input response is L inverse of SI minus A the heart.